refrigerant 134A at 0.8 megapascals and 90 degrees Celsius is to be cooled to 0.8 megapascals and 28 degrees Celsius in a condenser by air. The air enters at 100 kilopascals and 27 degrees Celsius with a volumetric flow rate of 120 cubic meters per minute and leaves at 95 kilopascals and 67 degrees Celsius. What is the mass flow rate of the refrigerant? This is the second example for the heat exchangers and mixing chambers main lecture. The link to that 9 minute lecture and all the other lectures of the thermal course are found in the description below. Starting with the simplified energy conservation equation we derived for heat exchangers and using mass conservation, we see that we can solve for the mass flow rate of the refrigerant and notice that we're going to have to find all four specific enthalpy values and the mass flow rate for air. Since we have the volumetric flow rate for air, we can find the mass flow rate if we find the specific volume first. And since air can be considered an ideal gas, we find the specific volume using the ideal gas equation. We solve for specific volume, substitute that expression in the mass flow rate equation, find the gas constant for air, and substitute all values at the inlet with the temperature in Kelvin to find the mass flow rate. As for the enthalpies, from the fact that the word condenser was used to describe this heat exchanger, we can assume that the refrigerant is coming as superheated and leaving as a compressed liquid. We go to the superheated tables and see that for a pressure of 0.8 megapascals and a temperature of 90 degrees Celsius, the enthalpy is 327.12 kilojoules per kilogram, and that is H3. And like I just explained, for H4 at the exit, we probably have a liquid. We go to the saturated tables by temperature to look up 28 degrees Celsius, see that the saturation pressure is 727.31 kilopascals, which means that at 800 kilopascals we do have a liquid, and therefore we use the approximation that the specific enthalpy is that of a saturated liquid at 28 degrees Celsius, and that's H4. And finally, for the specific enthalpy values for air, we go to the air property tables, look up 300 Kelvin and 340 Kelvin, and write down the specific enthalpies H1 and H2 respectively. We substitute all of these values in our first expression for the mass flow rate, and find it to be 23.7 kilograms per minute. And that's it. If you want to check out other examples in the heat exchangers and mixing chambers topic, make sure to check out the links I left down in the description below. You'll find the links to the other lectures of the thermal course as well as other engineering courses there as well. Thanks for watching.